Water in a container having 2 mm thick walls made of material thermal conductivity 0.5. The container is kept in a melting ice bath at 0 degree. The total surface area in contact with water is 0 0.05 meter square. The wheel is clapped inside the water and is coupled with a block of mass M as shown in figure. As the block goes down, the wheel rotates. It is found that after some time a steady state is reached in which the block goes down with a constant speed of 10 cm per second and the temperature of the water remains constant to be 1 degree Celsius. In that case we have to calculate the mass of block. Okay. Now the best part to solve this question is the energy conservation. Okay, the best part to solve this question is by energy conservation. We do have at steady state the temperature of the water is one degree Celsius and it is kept in a ice bath which is having temperature zero degree Celsius. Okay, so let's say the rate of heat transference that is dq by dt is given by Ka delta t by l okay now dq by dt over here is the rate of heat transference that is taken place from water to the ice bath okay and uh, where from this heat is coming this heat is coming because this mass is going down with some constant velocity so of course if it is going down then the change in the potential energy of this block M will be converted into the heat transference that is taking place between the water and the ice bath. So what I'll do is that the heat transference Q is equal to the change in potential energy of the block. On differentiating both sides I have dq by dt as rate of change of potential energy with respect to time. All right. So the only thing is that I have to calculate both the parts. Fine. dq by dt is given by this formula and uh, change potential energy is given by mgh. Okay fine. Now let's say this is my ground level and initial height bh. Okay. Now potential energy is this. Fine. On uh, differentiating it with respect to t. I have mg dh by dt. Now this dh by dt is nothing but the velocity because rate of change of distance or rate of change of displacement from the ground is equal to the velocity. So it will be equal to mg v. Fine. So now we just have to substitute the value of this and this over this equation. So I have value of k as 0.5 area is uh, given to me as 0 0.05 okay delta t that is 1 minus 0 into dl or the length that is given this thickness 2 mm and it equals to mass mass of the block into g that is 9.8 into velocity as 10 centimeter per second so 0.1 meter per second so mass is 0.5 into 0 0.05 into 1 divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 9.8 into 0.1 okay so on solving this I get the mass as 12.5 kg that is the answer